Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Mountain Blade Anno 1257, and we are about to fulfill our goal, the main goal of this campaign, which was to seize the city of Constantinople from the Latin Empire. Now, this will not, however, destroy the Latin Empire, as in the midst of all of this, they were able to steal Ankara, my own personal fife, from us, because it had no garrison at the time. So that happens, but we also have a caravan from the Emirate of Granada. This is not the best place to be, my friend, between the lords of the Latin Empire and the armies of the Roman Empire of Nicaea. But you shall have to deal with it. Let's do this. I am the marshal. Everyone follows me. We're going to besiege the town. And unfortunately, we're going to have to wait to build the siege tower, but that's fine. It'll take 60 hours, but that moves by pretty fast. It seems like it only gets to be night once, and then all of a sudden it's time. So either the game fast forwards, or it just doesn't tell time very well. Either way, I'm not too fussed about it, because I'd like to conquer the lands. And what just happened? A bunch of my lords just took off. That is... Not cool. Not that it matters. I should be able to take the city, frankly, just by myself. But it's a good thing that I whittled them down because, oh, the truce between Poland and Hungary has expired. Maybe they'll go back to war and we could conquer some more of Hungary. Maybe I can get that Latin castle. So, oh, by the way, I've also, in the intervening six months, purchased a lot of businesses, as you can see here. Many of which don't make me huge amounts of money, but all told, added up together, do a lot of good things to my income. Obviously, the oil press in Ankara will not be generating much for me until I reconquer it. But you can see, all of this is businesses. And I, I try to mix and match, because I heard if you have more than one business of a certain type, they each produce less. So instead of making all of them like dye factories or whatever is the most expensive, I try to find whichever is the best deal for the location that I'm at, based on how much money it costs to set up and how much I'm predicted to gain from it. Obviously, my oil press at Riga, my tannery at Valencia, and my tannery at Pamplona are doing... The best. Oh no, the dye works at Thessalonica. Whew, that is making some money. Now, if these all were 314, I'd be doing quite well. My mill at Toledo, not so great. Neither. You'd expect a lot from an ironworks. Wow, but not really. Anyway, I'm losing a lot of money. But luckily, I well, I'm down to 7,185, so it's a good thing that we are going to end this war at some point. And my morale is low. Heavy swordsman, that's no good. So it's a good thing this is over. This has been happening quite a bit. Oh, and one of my new companions, Bashar, has advanced a level. That's lovely. Okay, here we go. So we are going to take Constantinople. Hopefully. I mean, I sincerely hope so. Now the first move that I have to make is I have to tell my support guys to hang back. Because they very much like to run up to the front and get themselves killed, and that makes me very unhappy. So I've keyed them in as a special support group, and I'm going to ask them to actually follow me for right now, just to get them out of the front and close to me. Let's see, there they are. There's Tycon, Simon, Helga. Nestor. Well, where is Visurgitas? Oh, we only have four of them for some reason right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask them to hold this position. Because I need to get here to the front. Because one thing I want to do to help my troops out is as soon as the wall is breached, I want to jump behind the enemies and kind of clear the way for my troops. I have to be careful, though, and quickly tell these guys to stay where they are, because I noticed that the AI resets. As soon as the wall becomes breached, they rush up to the front, which is not something I want them to do. Although, frankly, they should be able to... I mean, my regular troops should be able to get up there first. So here we go. This may prove folly. I may get killed, but... It happens. So, I can't say hold this position, because that must, that'll must that mean the position that I'm at. Oh, I got a new hat, by the way. 
I still have my old one. It's being saved, but for siege battles, I want as much protection as possible, and this one has 72. It's a Varangian helm. My armor is broken, but I can't tell that it causes any kind of problem. It's, it still seems to work just fine, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, here we go. So support, I want you to... No, 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 no. Support. Stand ground. That's what I want. And okay. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, I don't think this is going to be a problem. We've we've whittled down the garrison enough that I think there's plenty of room for my men to enter the city walls. But at least I'll ease their passage a little bit by getting rid of some of these ranged guys. The garrison is no doubt refreshed a little bit since my previous assaults. Okay, everyone, let me through, huh? Let's see. Yep, there's some people in there. Cool. I'll handle them. So my methodology for sieges works really well, actually. There's really no way to suffer less casualties than the defenders. But, if you have good doctors, you can make your casualties wounds instead of deaths, whereas the enemy is deaths. So, what I basically do is I just fight until I'm almost out of troops, and then I retreat and let the wounded guys heal up. Meanwhile, the enemy has suffered far worse than I have, because... Their casualties are deaths, whereas mine are mostly wounds. It still costs a lot of manpower, but it's a way to do it. Now, historically, the city of Constantinople had three layers of walls, and there were areas between them, areas where you can get stuck and get caught by archers and ditches and some such. This obviously is just a representation. In fact, all cities in the Orthodox world in this game look like this. There's not a lot of variation. But they at least copy the crenellated shape of the walls and the stripes and the towers. You know, those those are definitely modeled after the towers of the actual city of Constantinople in as much as the game can. So there are four enemies left. No kidding. So, why are we hanging out up there, guys? See, as you can see here, we have lost 50 guys or so, but 26 of them are wounded and only 21 dead. Alright, come on. Seriously, everyone. This is stupid. There's four guys. Certainly, you can take them out. Wow, look at me. Another javelin straight to the collarbone. What is that, like the third? Oops. Alexander, why are you in the back, buddy? You're supposed to be one of my heroes. One of these days, I hope to have enough money to get my, my hero troops legitimate Byzantine armor, because it's weird seeing them running around in bits and pieces of Mongol armor and Latin armor, and just whatever they can scrape up. So the way you get in is you follow this wall, and then you go down a set of stairs into this courtyard there. You can see my men running, and then you come up on this wall. So what's cool about this is you can station archers here, and there's really no way besides their own archers that troops can get to it without going all the way around. So I wish, although it probably made the game too easy, if you could tell it right at the beginning where the troops should be, because I just put a ton of archers up there and put enough heavy infantry here to keep these guys in the range of the archers for the longest time. I wonder if I can hit him with a javelin. No. Oh, well, that would have been close, I guess. So they're down to two guys. And we've taken the city. You know what? I have a hat just like his hat. And you know what's kind of funny? It's a magical hat because when I put it on, my facial hair disappears. Like, I have this mustache and it just disappears when I put on the, that helmet. I'm clean shaven. I wish I had one of those things in real life, honestly. So we lost 
22 guys, 29 are wounded, but we managed to take the city, and they actually had less than 50 at that point. Hopefully I'll get some... Nope, he escaped. How did you escape? Doesn't matter, I have you. Do I have the Emperor? Nope. Looks like I don't. Now, here's another fun thing about capturing cities. You get all of the captured people that they have, and you can see here there's a ton of good stuff here. Calatrava Knight, absolutely. Armenian Knights. I've decided to go with Catholic troops as my second group. You can have two groups of troops without morale penalty. It's when you start having three that's a problem. And I figure since I'm mostly at war with the Mongols now, and really the only decent Muslim troops, at least the ones the Ilkhanate fields, are the Mongols, it's not that necessary. Let's see. Armenians. Yep. Let's see. Uh, Hospitaller, sure. Yep. Georgians are Catholic, too. So, that'll work. Let's see, these are all Muslim troops. But all my companions, like all the other lords, will be able to take these guys. So they'll, all their armies that were worn down by the siege of the city will be renewed by the inclusion of all these great troops. Georgian horse archers, sure. Greek heavy archers. Oh, I could use that for cavalry. I'm sorry, for the garrison. But let's see what... No, we have two cataphracts. We'll definitely take those. We can take four more troops. I think senior knights, definitely worthwhile. Mercenaries are too expensive, really, for what you get. I guess I could take the Greek mounted archers, but let's see if there's any lancers. Mounted skirmishers? No, I don't see them. Mounted archer. Greek heavy swordsman. No, I don't see Lancers, so I guess I will take the... Oh, there they are. Greek Medium Lancer. Alright, I'm full. The rest of my friends can divvy up. Okay, what do I get here? Nothing nothing good. I've noticed that I tend... I don't know if this has to do with how much looting ability you have, but I tend to get really good helmets. Like helmets that are worth... As you can see here, all my loot is helmets that are worth over a thousand, but I never get good weapons or shields or other types of armor, which is sad because I really would like some good armor, but instead I just get a bunch of really good helmets. I don't know if that's a bug in the mod or if that's the way it's supposed to work or if it has to do with my looting. Maybe at certain levels of looting, you're more likely to get helmets. I'm not sure, but I tend to always get helmets. And the Roman Empire has been restored request that Constantinople be awarded to you. Absolutely. That's cool. I didn't know the game was going to do that. I thought we'd still be Nicaea, but now apparently we're the Roman Empire. Let's go to the tavern because, as we saw earlier, our men are not happy. But I know a quick and efficient way of making them so. At the reasonably low price of 100 dinar. And since the city will eventually be mine, hopefully, I'm going to butter up the Tavern Keeper, which will improve my relationship with the city by one. Obviously, I'll have to do that nine other times to make up for taking over the garrison, but it still works. Marketplace. Let's get rid of some of these hats. And the sword. Yeah, perfect. Armor Merchant. Let's see what they have here. Lordly Anatolian Leather Lamellar. That's pretty neat, but not very good. Mine is 64, 24, and as you can see, it says it's severely damaged. Again, I don't know if that actually has any practical effect in the game. It doesn't appear to be protecting me any worse than it was before, and god dang. Hand gear gets damaged so often. And this one actually lost. It used to be like 12 or something. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I can repair this or if it even matters. I'm not even sure. But more expensive armor. Like, look, this is a nearly the same thing, and it's not even as good. So... Again, I, I'm not sure what to do here. And I'm not going to buy these because I need the money for my troops. And again, if this works at plus six, this is obviously much better. Once I have some money, I'll do that. But anyways, let's sell the sword. And that's all we've got. Okay, so sell items automatically. And this is where we're at. So the Latin lords are running around. So I think it's in my best interest to wait here for some time because the last thing I want is to leave the city and then have them reoccupy it. 
Although I suppose I could try to take the battle to them. I'm not sure how fast I can move here. See, troops might not be re re receivable if you lose it. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can catch up with them. I have a lot of guys. I doubt that I can. No. Bad idea. Bad idea. So I would let the lords go. And you know what? I might just do so until the city's awarded to me. And then I'll recall them again and go after Ankara. And just put an end to the Latins once and for all. But for right now, Alexander. Go ahead and tell everybody they can go home. As you saw, I have 39 controversy. I'd rather that not grow. Bashar is ready to level up. I gave him one of the Latin Lords horses. I give my men those just to show the Latin Lords what I think about them. Let's see. Intelligence 9 will at least give him an extra couple points. So, but I, I'm arming these guys mostly for war. So, let's go with Iron Flesh and Power Strike. And he does have a pole arm, but I want to train them all eventually to be good at one-handed weapons. And what else do we have here? We have some heavy swordsmen, heavy javelineers, heavy spearmen. Let's get some archers. Okay, oh, we can get some heavy archers. Good, good, good. Medium spearmen for defense. All right, good. So I. My cost of maintaining my troops is about double the actual money that I have. So that's a problem, especially depending on when the week ends. I've, I don't, I've never had a situation where I've absolutely run out of money. So I can't honestly say what will happen. If my troops will desert me, if I take a loan, I have no idea. Let's find out together. And I told these guys they can go home. So hopefully they'll do so. You know, one thing I didn't check, I like to go ask the lords who they support in order to get a city, just to hear what they have to say. Oh, look at these guys. You know what? I think I might be able to sneak a little attack at them here. And get some more prisoners. That might be a good idea. So let's... We got the Umberto, Orsini, Baron. I wonder where the Emperor went. Okay, here we go. This battle will round out the episode. I'm fighting all of them. I have 226 troops for battle against their 184. And it's raining. Excellent. Let's go, guys. Now that I have six pretty heavily armored and awesome companions, I'm pretty awesome in general. Plus a number of cataphracts. And maybe some of these guys will be worth some money if I can capture them, and that'll help me with not having any money. That would certainly be a benefit. The infantry is being left behind, unfortunately. I'd like to leave the infantry behind as a garrison, but again, that's no point in doing that until the city has been awarded to me officially. And it better be awarded to me. I mean, if that guy gives it to somebody else, I might just have him assassinated. I don't know how to do that, but I've heard that there's a way. I enjoy taking out the archers. I'm less likely to be interfered with by my men. You know, of course, the bad news about giving my heroes the horses of the Latin Lords is that when I see them on the battlefield, I have to think for a second and realize that they're mine and not the Latin Lords. What's going on here? There's a couple more horses. I wonder if they're my... No, they wouldn't be my guys because... Well, I guess they could if my guys actually got killed. So yeah, see, these these are my guys. No, I think we took out the actual lords themselves.
I was given some good advice on combat, but I I can't really put it through. It's in bumping the enemies with the horse before swinging, and it's just it's just all about timing. And as you can see, I'm barely good enough to hit them as it is, let alone bump them and hit them and do all kinds of crazy advanced tactical things. Yeah. I want I think their crossbowmen, the Latin crossbowmen with their shields are actually better than my even my heavy archers. I'm not entirely certain, but they seem to perform very well. Okay, let's get out of there. What is going on? Let me go, please. Thank you. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, I'm not a thrust. If I ever wrote a military manual for this game, I would probably say that thrusting should be left to the bedroom, and only swinging should take place on the battlefield. All right, hopefully we took some of these guys prisoner. That would be, that would be wonderful. That would be so full of wonder. Come on. We lost seven guys. Not too worried about it. Yep, I have Othon de Tournay. Umberto Palavicini managed to get away, as did Geoffrey de Bruyeres. But I got Mayo Orsini. So all in all, not too bad a haul. And can I take some guys to make up for what I lost? Again, mercenaries are exp Well, these guys aren't that expensive. 40 dinar. Not bad. 36. Okay, why not? Some horsemen. I'll leave the... Well, mercenary range would be good for once I get the city. If I get the city. Alexis has leveled up. See what I mean? Here it is, folks. Look at all these helmets. All these great helmets that are worth more than a thousand. And I do actually got one good sword here, but all the armor is less than a thousand. You know, I'd, what I'd really like is some good armor to give to my men instead of just a bunch of helmets. At least I got a sword here, though. Two decent swords. I guess I'll take that. Must be a weird kind of artifact of the looting system. All right, so the Latin lords have pretty much all been stopped, which means that the only presence of the Latins is in Ankara. Nobody seems to want to take it on their own, so I may have to do that as soon as the city again is hopefully awarded to me. Now, one thing you can do without upsetting anybody is trading prisoners. So I'm going to let them go here because regardless if I get a city or not, they're safer here than in my care. Let's wait for a minute. Actually, you know what? We're over time, so I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode here. Once again, I'm Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.